What's up, people? How are you today? I hope you are all good. Today we are going to be making a designer shirt gown. I know I've made a lot of tutorials on shirt gowns. That's because I love them. But this is a little bit different. Okay? See the same pattern anyway, but it's finer than the previous ones. Thank you for subscribing. I have here two years, which I know will be more than enough for this tutorial. I'll cut the front and then I'll cut the back. Okay? So quickly we'll go for the front. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe before leaving and ensure to watch my videos. And to my existing subscribers, thank you very, very much. I appreciate all of you. So I'm folding into two and cutting the front first of all. All right, so I've folded it out very neatly. This is my starting point. This is the end point. This one is the sewing and the folding allowance. Okay, starting point, bust line, waistline, hip line. Okay, I tried to use a blue chalk for people to see. I also tried orange. I don't know. I really hope you are seeing it. Okay. So starting point, bust line, waistline, hip line, and then the length of our blouse. Okay. So I'll place my shoulder measurements. Shoulder, bust, waist, hip. I'll be attaching the button placket later. It's not part of this measurement, okay? So shoulder is 16 inches, that is eight. This is for shoulder slope. Hold of eight inches. Bust is that in five divided into four. allowance of three inches waist is 31 into four swing allowance of three inches as well Hip is 40 into 4, allowance of 3 inches as well. So I'll connect this to this and to hip. Extend it. 
Okay. The lower part is actually a little bit wider than the hip. Okay. Say with about one inch. All right. And then for the neck. I will use two and a half, two and a quarter, and neck volume three inches. So for the neck with two and a quarter, for the volume three inches. Okay, I will just need to mark it. As usual, I will not be cutting it out yet until I've put the bottom placket. Okay. So I'll quietly cut this one out. Okay, as I've cut it, the next thing will be to put the design. I'll take five inches from this up down to the waistline. I'll stop at the waistline. So I will cut this part off. Now, if I decide to just attach the design here without slitting this place open, it will not relax very well. That is just the basic reason why I'll have to slit this one open. Okay. Still maintaining the five inches. So I'll slit this part open. Okay, so I've opened it. You can actually open your own down to the hemline. Okay, I opened it like this. I also opened at the lower part so that I'll just hold it. I'll know where to hold it to. So when it's time for it. So the next thing I will do will be to use this one and cut out this very piece. Okay. I'll leave about half an inch here and here. That's for joining. I 
can also mark the neck. Okay. So with the front now, we we'll cut the back. The back, of course, should be one and a half inches longer than the front. So I'm putting this back to be able to get the one and a half inches. So I'll quickly cut. And then I will remove this place as well and open up the down part. The front and the back are similar. Then use the black to cut this one again. Okay. So now we have the back. Still leaving about half an inch on both sides. Okay. So now the next thing I will do will be to join this black. To where I removed it from. This way I will join here. First I will join at the lower part here. I will join here. Then I will join this way. Okay. So I'm just putting back this very material. Back to where I removed it from. I hope you get that. Okay, so after the joining, you should have something like this. This is the back. And this is the front. Okay. Also, this is the bottom. Flag it. Two inches. It's already on fold. Okay. I also got the black one okay the idea is for the black to cover the black and then this pattern to cover the pattern okay so i'm going to join them together when i join them i will then attach here making sure that this one corresponds with this place okay i will carefully do it so that the joining will begin from here okay so that this one does not enter into this black material neither the black material enter into the pattern okay so i'll go to the machine and do it then when i join it i will start to attach from the wrong side i will sew it using half an inch then turn it to the other side 
and close it using half an inch as well okay so now having attached the button placket hope you can see it i will then remove the neck and put the front and the back And then join the front and the back at the shoulder okay so i've done the joining even at the sides at this side i'll go up by two inches just because i want to have a slight curve there and then curve it out if you want yours to be straight like this you can leave yours So I'll now fold the hemline. I have a tutorial on how to cut collar. Also another tutorial on how to cut collar and collar stand together in one because I'm not going to be showing how I cut it here. Maybe I'll leave the, the link on the description box and also for the sleeve as well. So next will be to attach the sleeve which I already cut and this is the color with color stand together in one I have a tutorial on this you check the description box for the link to the video so I'll just proceed to fold the sleeve here and then attach it to the body of the shirt and then we have come to the end of the tutorial check it out okay this is very, very beautiful. Thank you very much for watching till the end. Please, I urge you to try it at home. Okay? If you are yet to subscribe, please, I implore you to click on the red icon before leaving. And to my existing customers and subscribers, thank you very, very much. Till we meet in my next tutorial, take care of yourself. Be innovative and don't forget your bag of candies. See you then. Bye.